Hey, what is up, guys? It's Queen of Baby Ching Home Debbie, and I am back today. Um, let me see my protein part of my mouth uh, just a little bit. So you can see, I'm wearing like gym clothes because I just came back from the gym. I have no makeup on, and my hair is a mess. And that's because today is wash day. I'm finally taking out my braids. I've literally had these in for a good like month and a half. My hair is sweaty and gross and dirty, so I need to get these things off my head and wash them. So basically, if for any of you who care, you take out your braid, take out our braids, take out your braids with me, and then we're gonna do like a little length check and I'm gonna tell you what I wash my hair with and stuff like that. I guess I'll style it at the end and we'll see what happens. I'm doing a style I've never done before, so like, I don't know if anyone cares about like hair videos, especially on like my type of hair, like 4C textured hair. If you do, like great, I'm obtaining a new audience. If you don't, don't watch this when I have other videos. But let's just get started. I just had scissors. I'm just gonna like, probably just do the chop on all of them and then like, then take them out. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk about like my hair journey, I guess. I have been natural for two years now. I stopped relaxing my hair like May of 2015. Reason being, um, I absolutely hated everything about relaxing. It made my hair dull and dead, and my hair was like always dry, and like it never looked good. Even if I straightened it, it just was dead. It didn't move, it had no body. It was just like a stick and it was straw, and my head was always like, burnt and the whole process was like painful and I just didn't like it overall and I was researching more how the chemicals are so bad for you and everything like that so then I decided like that's not a thing I want to do anymore and I decided that I'm not going to relax my hair anymore so that happened and I'm just completely and utterly stopped it and since then 100% like that was one of the best decisions I made I think like I never decided to relax my hair the first time. It was just my mother who decided to relax my hair. But it's not saying that's a bad thing. Of course, having natural hair is really difficult to deal with, especially if you're a parent who's working all the time and you don't have time to like do your hair, your child's hair like every single day, or you have a job that you need to be at, or you have other siblings. And it's really expensive to go to salons, especially when you're in Canada. Like going to salons that specialize in African-American hair, like 4C, 4B textured hair is, insanely expensive and where I live I don't I live in an area that's majority of the people are white so like the salons here specialize in like straight silky hair and not like super textured hair I mean of course some of them say they do it but they're not gonna be able to do it as well and they're still gonna charge the same so you have to do what you have to do but now that I'm older and I understand and I'm willing to put in the time in my own hair I do my own hair, I wash my own hair, I buy my hair products, my mom buys them occasionally, and I just, because I want it and it's going to be too much for my mother, I just decided to take it into my own hands, which is important, because when you grow up, you're going to have to do that, and I think, like, as a black woman, it's important to embrace your hair and not want straight hair, because, like, you're always told, you're going to be told for the rest of your life that, like, straight hair is, like, more professional or whatever, which I don't believe how that's possible, and I think it's important to be okay with your real self and not use chemicals to permanently damage a part of you just to be accepted. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty much just taking out these braids. Fun fact, my mom does my hair. Well, I just explained that, but by that I don't mean like, I mean that she does my braids. Like I've never gone to a salon to, actually I've gone to a salon in Africa when I was there to get my hair braided, but here, like my mom does it. She's very talented, shout out to you mother. So this is what we're working with. So let me grab some hair. 
nice chunk. It's very dirty, my face is disgusting right now. Um, put it against my head and drag it down. I wish I had pictures from before, but my hair was like a lot shorter and more dead, but yeah. So I'm gonna grab my Lush hair mask and I'll be right back to show you how I put that in. Okay, now that my hair is completely taken out, I'm going to apply my Lush hair treatment. Basically, this is what it looks like after it's mixed together. I'll insert a picture of what the stick looks like because I forgot to show you that. But basically, it's like this hair mask treatment that comes on this stick in like a hard waxy block. And then you put it into any container. I use my old Dark Angels because they recommend using the black pots because I mean it's easy. And like you can use it for hair products because you're not eating out of them or anything. And then you add quite a bit of water. I added probably a cup and a bit to half the block. And even if you wanted to, you could add more to make it um, thinner. But I like mine fairly thick. And then you just mix it up in boiling water and just keep mixing until it's all melted and let it sit for a little bit because it's going to get thicker after it's sat for a little bit. And then you wait till it's not boiling hot because don't put boiling hot things on your head. Like that's not, that's a smart idea. And then you start applying it to your hair and leave it on for like 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to leave it on probably for about 45 because I have some other things I need to do like eat and do like oh, just, just summer school work and stuff like that. So I'm going to apply it. Uh, I'll probably use not this comb. I'm gonna apply it with my hands and then I'm gonna go through my hair with a big comb, like comb through everything. Oh, there it is. Comb through with this comb just to like make sure it's everywhere. So I'm gonna speed this up because I don't wanna talk during this. So as you just watched, I just basically put it through my entire hair, slowly applied it in basically a rough four or five sections with a little bit, then went around with more, and then went around a few more times just to make sure everywhere was fully saturated, and then I combed through to make sure it was distributed and that my hair was detangled, which it is really well detangled, surprisingly my hair is not tangling right now. It feels really soft, and I heavily love, heavily fuck with Lush, like heavily, like, I love Lush. This was about $10 for the block. Um, I have a lot of hair, so I use about three fourths of it. I forgot to mention that, but I only use three quarters of it rather than using the full thing. So you, some people can get away with using half if this plane will apply faster. If you have less hair, you can use half of it. If you just want a little bit of a treatment and not too thorough, you can use one fourth of it and then use it more often. My hair hasn't had a good like deep mask on it in like a long 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 time so this is when i decided to use most of it and yeah right now i'm just picking out to make sure there's no tangles in it in this brush it looks like a lot of my hair came out most of what this is is the residue of the extension the stuff like that and just hair that's been hanging there and that's dead or whatever so i always recommend combing 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 it out while it's in because it works with a great detangler it's called kinky i don't know if i mentioned it so it's meant for like african-american like for texture hair from like B and C, prop A of course as well, because African American hair like dries up faster, you need something that has more moisture in it. Like if you have silkier hair, your hair naturally has more moisture and if anything you would consider more oily more often rather than being dry. So then you don't need this strong of a moisturizing one. They do have other ones meant for like different textured hair. I just bought this one because of course my hair is that kind of texture. It's about $10 for the block. I said that already and I 100% think it's worth it. I don't think it's something you need to use often. I would say like four, four, five times a year, even three times a year when you just feel your hair like it needs an extra deep conditioning. Cause I do have other products that are way cheaper that I use, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this on for about an hour, 45 minutes and I will show you what I do once I get back, once I wash it and everything and then I'm gonna style it. So yeah, see you guys then. Hey, what's up? I'm back. Now I'm in the bathroom, kneeling on the floor because I don't own a tripod, so the angling's gonna be weird. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm parting my hair into what, two, as you can see, it's washed. 
and moisturize after I do this I'll show you everything I used so I'm just doing a rough part right now and then I'm going to start using a comb a pointy comb to just make sure the line is fairly good can't get it perfect of course Okay, my dudes, so we're done, and this is what we're working with. Here are my poofs. Um, I didn't realize how much I love this hairstyle, and I do. I feel like I'm like 13 years old again, and this is super cute. I did put a bandana around it just to like accessorize. I feel like it was boring, and it looks better with one, at least in my opinion. It's super cute, it's like chic and like chill, and like look at the poofs. <laughs> look at the poofs. My hair needs to be too short to do these like nicely. I am obsessed with this. Now this has become a vlog, I'm just gonna go through everything I use in my hair. So as you know, I used the Lush um, Kinky Hair Treatment first, and let that in for a good hour. Then I use this Mane and Tail Shampoo. Nothing special at your local uh, beauty supply store and then after that I use a deep conditioner which is the Proclaim cholesterol cholesterol colostrol colostrol I don't know I'm an idiot so like I don't know if I'm saying this right or not but yeah I use this deep conditioner I'll take it for a good 15 minutes then I washed that all out then I had a sample of Lush's I think it's called Queen Bee Honey Hair, and then just rub that all over my hair. And then I also use, I don't have the container. I got a sample of the R&B moisturizer from Lush as well. Put that all over my hair. Then I used this Olive Miracle um, moisturizer. Put this all over my hair to add some extra moisture. And then I use, let me get the cap for this gel. I use Moni Oil Anti Breakage Edge Control to basically like lay down my edges and get my like look. See those edges? You see that edge control? I use that to get it like pulled together like really tightly and stuff. So yeah, that's everything I use in my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this like weird hair care video. Don't know what this is. Don't know if I'll ever do it again. I sure enjoy doing my hair and uh. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Keep smiling, shining, and remember, you don't need a kind of royalty, and I just realized I never worn mine this entire video. Good job. Bye.